Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a bit of a, a different video for me but kind of inspired by ones I've seen before. So I feel like uh, what's very popular on YouTube is first impressions videos when they're talking about products and stuff and I feel like I've definitely done some of those in the past however you know for whatever reason the product you don't like it I feel like trying it once you don't always necessarily have a full opinion of them like that's why I really like doing empties videos because then I've used the product up and I can really tell you how I feel about it uh, if I have any strong opinions either way so I kind of wanted to do a video that's inspired by both of those and trying out products that I didn't get on with initially and I kind of wanted to give them like a last chance saloon last ditch effort let's give this a go so I'm actually talking about a specific type of base product last summer I would say I bought a few bases which I basically wanted a more matte version of the it cosmetics your skin with a CC cream uh, they've since brought one out so there's that but um, yeah I kind of wanted like a matte tinted moisturizer type thing something that would hold up in the summer months and I thought now's the perfect time to talk about it so the two bases that I bought last year were these two here one by Too Faced and one by Nars and also that's the thing like these weren't cheap these are what around 30 pounds each and yeah I just I found that when I first used them I just didn't get on with them well this one specifically I did not like the way that this looked on my face uh, and I was really disappointed and then this one I just I just didn't find myself gravitating towards it like this one I had like less strong feelings about not liking but yeah I just bought it used it a couple of times and never really used it which are you know isn't great I want to use these products up so yeah so I thought like this would be a good time of year to bring these back out and talk about them and give them a go so what I've been doing is I've been uh, filming my makeup every day uh, as I've been applying it and what I did is I would apply them three days in a row and if I felt like I needed to switch something up how I would apply it like add primer, add more moisturiser on underneath etc I would do that so anyway I hope that makes sense I hope you enjoy the video here's me talking about these products now hi guys so for foundation slash matte moisturiser tinted thing number one that was a top quality content. We're going for the most foundation-y of them all, mainly because it refers to itself as a foundation. Uh, this is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. Oil free, 14 hour weight, oil controlling and photo friendly. I've got it in the shade Swan. How I'm gonna start day one, foundation one, is I'm just going to apply it with my hands because that's how I would want to apply this type of product or how I would initially apply it so uh, also full disclosure I have done this morning a exfoliating mask uh, simply because it was the time of the week that I do it so maybe this will be off to a flying start actually I will hang on here's my makeup bag there's one I made earlier now I'm not going to do any colour correcting or anything but I am going to fill in my pores a little bit oh bye and I'm not going to put any primer on or anything like that I'm just going to sort of really see how the foundation works by itself and then in the upcoming days I'm gonna sort of if I feel like I need to adjust it at all um, I will add either a glowy or a more matte primer um, and all that fun stuff so but I am gonna sort of do a little bit of pore filling so that's one pump let's start with one and see where things get to you really can smell the peach which depending on I don't know if that's like a really added fragrance or part of the thing I imagine it is solely for the experience because Too Faced really do like to fragrance their products. What's interesting is I've gone through a whole um not better than sex born this way foundation and when I initially bought that I wasn't crazy on it and then I went back to it and I really liked it so I'm hoping I have the same experience with this. So what's interesting, I don't know if you'll be able to see, I've got like a tiny, hang on, let me bring my mirror close so I can see. I've got like a tiny, tiny little bit of dryness here, um, which it seems to be picking up. Like this is if I'm getting like really finicky and like sort of I've got like the remnants of a spot here and it's a little bit drying around it. But actually, I mean, so far I'm happy with this coverage. It is very much matte but it still seems very breathable like you can see my skin through it but yeah i'm gonna finish my makeup now i'm not gonna do that on camera and we'll sort of see how it works after i've layered everything on top and we're back again 
Uh, so how's it looking? So I have for transparency, I've got a powder contour on, but my blush and highlighter help by Colourpop, so they are a cream to powder finish. Um, and then I do also have just like a finishing powder on top, the Beauty Pie one and a butt ton of setting spray as well. So how is my skin looking? Do you know what? This has gone surprisingly well so far. My skin is definitely matte. And today, it's, it's just kind of like a spring day, you know? Like it's not absolutely baking hot. So uh, that's something to know. Um, and I'm, I wasn't particularly oily beforehand either. But I mean, it looks like I have makeup on. I don't hate it. Maybe I was just having several bad days in a row when I first tried this foundation on. So my nose is always where I sort of like look because I find my nose is where uh, things kind of like bunch up or don't blend as well. I don't know why, like I've got not a particularly knobbly or big nose, but it's something that happens and it's looking uniform. Like it's not looking blotchy or anything like that. I mean, under my eyes is a little bit, but that also could be due with the concealer. But anyway, so this is day one. I'm gonna check in before I take my makeup off. Hello, it's me again. My housemates are asleep, so I'm whispering. It's about midnight. Anyway, I've got my mirror here. Nice and clean, isn't it? Um, and I thought I'd talk about, I'll turn the volume up on this. I thought I'd talk about the foundation and how it's looking. I realize I'm looking incredibly yellow. So I'm looking in the mirror. And actually, do you know what? It's held up really well. My first one, this is not going as planned, but in a good way. Um, let's get critical, shall we? I guess I can sort of see makeup in my pores, but I don't know if that's from the pore primer that I put on. Like, I can see like the pores are filled in with colour, but there's sort of like a little bit like red and like it's kind of worn off here, so you can just sort of see like the pores filled in, if that makes sense. Um, my nose. The thing is, is with my nose, I don't mind so much if it wears off, it's just if it wears off botulogically, and I don't know if that means like if I'm like red underneath and it comes through, but like as it stands like sort of like this part of my nose, rubbed off a little bit, and I'll wear around here, but it's fairly even, which I guess for the hours wear isn't so bad. Um, and like underneath my eyes looks a bit darker than it did when I put it on, but for the most part, it stuck around and it looks all right so maybe because i exfoliated i did um the ordinary peeling solution mask before i put it on and like my skin is in pretty good condition tomorrow i'm gonna put a few other bits on i'm also going to work tomorrow so today it was kind of like a, a uni day for me i was just on my laptop all day so i didn't sort of really test it it was just like a homey day, you know? But for that, it, it, it's held up pretty well. I mean, like here, it's got a little blotchy, like one over here. Oh, if I rub it, it doesn't really help. Like, But everywhere else, it's sort of maintained. The only sort of problem area, that's good one, that's, the only sort of problem area was here and here. Interesting. I'll see you tomorrow. Okie dokie, day two. So, yes, they. It looked good. I was I was happy with the results. It settled better onto my skin um, while still keeping me back. But today, things are getting changed up a little bit. Maybe just to see how they react. But also, I am going to work today. Yesterday, I just sort of stayed at home, played on my laptop, did errands, that type of thing. Um, played on my laptop. I wrote a massive essay. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to put a bit of skincare on. I made sure that I didn't put any skincare on immediately before I layered the foundation on. I'm just going to pop on the Beauty Pie Deep Treatment Serum. Let's put that all on my face. To be fair, part of me does think the exfoliating lotion has made a massive difference. I mean, my skin's in a really good place at the moment. I'm also going to put a primer on. This is the first like primer filter by Becca. A couple of sprays of that. Again, another moisturising factor because I was sort of, it, it was very matte and I know it's a matte foundation, but maybe giving it a little bit more of a moisturising base and a teeny weeny bit professional. Maybe tomorrow I won't put it on to see if that um, effect happens that did sort of like last night's check-in. Um, 
Cool. And today I'm changing up the method of application. I've wetted a beauty sponge and um, yeah, I just thought I'd see what the finish like that is like, if I prefer it at the end of the day. I'm gonna start with one pump again, and if I need to add more, which typically with sponges you do, I can do. So I'm just gonna go to the butt and shove it all over. right up in my mirror. It is a fairly similar finish. If anything, a little bit more sheer. And again, there is a little bit more shine coming through, probably to do with these two bits that I put on to begin with. And yeah, there's sort of like a little bit more life to the skin, um, which could affect it a little bit further down the road. Anyway, I'm gonna put the rest of my makeup on and sort of see how it looks. Do you know what? I'm really liking how my makeup's looking today. Uh, I've noticed sort of on my nose it's a lot less um, sort of very flat matte. Um, one thing, my my nose I guess is my problem area, sort of like very much around the tip. If I'm not like very on it with exfoliating, it looks almost furry. Sounds cute, right? But it's the truth. I, I know personally that I need to stay on top of exfoliation, but actually my nose is looking pretty good. Like here actually looks really, really good. I mean... For what I was coming in with this video, maybe it's been a bad idea, but so far, this has worked out. But this is what I mean about trying foundations and then for whatever reason, be it the climate, be it, um, you know, your skin at the time, you, a foundation can sit completely differently. Um, yeah, I'm liking this so far. Um, to know, it is raining today, so that it's not that hot. <laughs> um, but I am going to be running around in work, so we shall see how that goes. Anyway, I'll see you tonight. Uh, hello, so it is day number three. I didn't do a sort of big camera check-in last night with the sponge application, mainly because I got home quite late and it was, both my housemates were asleep, so I didn't want to chit chat. And one thing I did notice how through the day working that I could sort of see like the redness coming through on my nose. That's typical, that's something that I typically get. But overall it did last pretty well throughout um, my shift which is good. Today I've got another sort of at home uni day um, and I've done the same base as yesterday so the serum, the more sort of glowy base and the professional. Um, but I'm going to be using two brushes. Where have I put you? Ah, I literally had my makeup bag. So I've got two. I'm going to do one on each side to sort of see how it works. So I've got this brush here. This is the Sephora Pro Airbrush. Remember this? I've still got it. Um, this is a less densely packed, more light foundation brush. And then I've also got the Beauty Pie Foundation Buffing Brush, which, as the title would suggest, is more of a buffing, uh, densely packed, sort of shorter bristled brush. I'm going to apply both of those and see see where we get to. Um, and again, I'll start with one pump if I need to add more. I will. So I feel like I've used more with the buffing than with the airbrush. But let's have a look at the difference, if there is any. With the buffing brush, there seems to be a bit more coverage than with the um, Pro Airbrush. I'm gonna put a bit more on. Yeah, with Pro Airbrush, it seems a lot more, not a lot more, a lot lighter. Whereas, yeah, the coverage is definitely more packed on. But then again, I felt like I needed to use more product. I feel like the product dispersed better with the lighter brush with this. Whereas with the buffing brush, I felt like I needed more products. That's probably where that extra coverage is coming from as well. Um, because this has got extra coverage, I am gonna sort of even it out by taking this brush. No extra product or anything. I mean, there's none on the back of my hand. Um, so I've used two pumps of foundation with the brush. Um, I will mention, because I haven't exfoliated, um, like done a deep exfoliation since my first, uh, the night before I did the first test of this and I am starting to see like some dry patches um, sort of encroaching and it not sitting as well on my skin. You're particularly like around here. Interestingly not on this side, again it might be because of the brush, but uh, and like on my chin here, it's looking a little bit drier. Yeah, I would say this is maybe my least favorite apply application method, but also it's, you know, the longest I've gone without a deep exfoliation. So that could be something to do with it. Anyway, I'm gonna finish my makeup up and we will see how it looks. Hi, 
the, the building work has ramped up, so I'm gonna make this short but sweet. So I've decided actually not to powder today, um, mainly because I feel like my nose area would just look really um, blotchy and uneven, um, which is interesting. But then also I did sort of use two brushes on either side, so that probably messed with stuff a little bit. Um, also, I am going to a gig tonight, I forgot to mention that. Uh, before I start putting my makeup on. So this is gonna be tested. But yeah, so around here is looking a little bit, not cakey's the wrong word, but it's not sinking in as well as I would like. It's not looking as much as my skin as I would like. But we'll see after it's had a couple hours to sort of do its thing, melt in a little bit. And as I mentioned, I haven't powdered, so maybe powdering a little bit later on will be helpful. Anyway, I shall see you soon. Last but certainly not least, I have this base here. This is the NARS Velvet Matte Skin Tint SPF 30 PA++. So I bought this, I think more or less when it came out, you know, I'm using the color Light Zero, which is Terre Neuve, Terre Neuve, Terre Neuve, delete as appropriate. Uh, and I got this for two reasons. Number one, um, I mean, it sounds like the base for me, but also I have their tinted moisturizer, their standard one, and I got that before they released Light Zero, so it's a little too dark for me. So also with the, the vision of mixing them together, so that would better suit my skin tone. And it's just one of those products that I never disliked it, but I just never got into using it. Um, so today is gonna be the day. Uh, so my skin at the moment, it's freshly clean, but uh, I haven't put any moisturizers or anything on that one because I believe, from what I remember, this one does have more moisturizing type properties. But you know, that being said, just on the back, very much foundation. So yeah, we're gonna see how this one goes. I haven't uh, exfoliated chemically in the past couple of days, but I'll probably do that tonight and see how much of a difference that makes tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, let's pop it on. <laughs> Thicker, thicker is maybe the wrong word. More creamy is maybe more accurate if you want to compare it to the toothpaste. But do you know what? Actually, this hasn't gone on that bad. I haven't got right up close into my mirror, but we shall see. Uh, it also does have quite a high SPF, which I'm personally a fan of because um, this type of base is a base that I'd wear during the day, so I'm not worried about flashback photography or anything like that. Looking close up, sorry, I move my mirror a little bit closer so you can see too. Uh, I mean, I've got a little bit of dryness here on my chin, uh, which is, I wouldn't say it's necessarily being highlighted, but you know, it's dry, so it looks a bit dry. Um, but tell you what, actually, the rest of the face, it looks quite nice, oh, missed a bit around my nose. Blend that in a little bit better. Um, it's looking very skin-like, I'm a fan. Anyway, I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup off and we'll see how it looks when everything is all said and done. Ta-da! Here we go, that was louder than I thought it was gonna be. Anyway, so this is where I am with the rest of my makeup on. I mean, I can see my pores around here, but that's not necessarily anything new. And I'm my nose, after putting this makeup on, I have realized I definitely do need a good exfoliation. But in regards to everything else, I feel like it sat quite nicely on my skin, to be honest with you. Uh, it's about two o'clock now, I must admit, it's a little bit later in the day, and I've got nothing big planned on. Um, so let's see how it sits. Hello guys, so I completely forgot to film or anything uh, how my skin looked last night before I went to bed, but I'll let you know that actually it held up pretty well. Um, it had faded a little bit, but not actually tons. For me, I don't necessarily mind if bases fade, it's when they sort of break apart or get blotchy that I don't like, whereas this one didn't do it. It was all sort of nice and still had an even coverage over my face. Anyway, so we're gonna, pop some bits on the face. I'm not gonna put any like proper, proper moisturizer on. One, because I'm adding in SPF, but also I don't think it needs it, but you know, I might try that out tomorrow. So I've got a little bit of a pore filler here. What am I doing? Why am I going in with that foot? Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Um, let's go for a bit of serum. This is the Japan Fusion one. I'm almost out of it, you know. I'm gonna put a bit of this sun cream on. I mean, it's absolutely pouring it down with rain. Um, but, gotta, gotta stay safe. I know I said I was gonna do a bit of a peel, um, and I didn't do that either. God, two for two. Um, oh my God. We're oh, really down to the last bit of that as well. This is the Becca First Light Primer Filter. 
I really do like this stuff actually. <laughs> if you can hear what I'm saying. Right. I'm also going to try it out with a brush. Again, I don't know if it necessarily needs it. And I've gone for the, the lighter one as well, just to sort of see what that does. Yeah, no, definitely I've got brush marks sort of on my forehead. And... Oh, yeah, no, when I get up and close and personal, that. We're done. No. Okay. Brush, bad idea. That. Oh, rub this one with the fingers. Yeah, I mean, again, similar problem as yesterday. My nose, my pores are very clogged. Um, they literally stay like unclogged for like one day and then they're back on their bullshit. Anyway, you can see where I did start uh, extracting them, but my name did a good job. Yeah, I mean, I've got a little bit of dryness here and a tiny bit of dryness here. I wouldn't say it's overly accentuating it, but it's not hiding it. I just think, I think the moral of this video is exfoliate. <laughs> I think I've already said that as well. Anyway, I'm gonna put the rest of my makeup on. Let's see how it looks. Ta -da! I think I did that yesterday. <laughs> anyway, so speaking of yesterday, it doesn't look that different from yesterday to today. I mean, I know I sort of went over and blended it in with my hands. More or less the same. My nose is covered in clog pores. Um, but other than that, looks nice and smooth. And I promise, pinky promise, that I will see you at the end of the day and show you how it looks. Sorry, I'm whispering. My hands are being so asleep. And I don't know how helpful this is going to be. Why am I so yellow? And it was all yellow. Anyway, so uh, looking at my face now. Again, I guess as I sort of said about last night, I can see sort of like where it's worn off a bit, like under my eyes, it's a little bit darker. Sort of around my cheeks and stuff, it's very even, it's not blotchy at all, which is something that I personally would prefer. I'd rather something be less full of coverage, but even than blotchy with higher patches of coverage. I guess like the only thing I can really sort of see is I can see where the, um, where I put the pore filler here, um, that's still there, but it's sort of like it's rubbed off a little bit of the foundation around it. So I guess that would be the only really big thing. Um, a bit of dryness on my forehead, and that's less prominent than it was this morning. Um, but we are talking at about 12 hour wear at this point. Yeah, I think it's about 12 hours, so I think that's pretty good going. Anyway, I shall see you soon for a sponge application. Here we go, lads. Last but certainly not least. We're going for the sponge application of this bad boy. So I've already put on my sun cream and a serum and I've just let that sit in. I'm actually not gonna put any pore filler on. Just got just to kind of see how that happens. How that happens? How that works. Anyway. Oh, I have also today done, oh my god, the biggest exfoliation I've ever done in my life. <laughs> Yeah, that is 100% a lot sheerer. That's like really sheared that out like to the next level. Which I don't know if I like, to be honest. Oh, I am so sorry. I just kicked you there. Ooh, ah. uh, so like here, for example, like you can definitely see quite a lot of redness coming through. And again, on my nose, which I, I noticed was faded without using the sponge. I'm gonna use my hands. I'm gonna put a little bit more on in the areas. I mean, there's some areas like sort of like, you know, the perimeters of my face where it's fine with a little less coverage, right? But I'm gonna put a little bit more on with my hands where I would like more coverage. Yeah, see immediately sort of that redness here has gone down. Oh my God, my nose <laughs> um, is, it looks so much better. It looks so much better now that I've done a peeling mask and some extractions. Oh my god. That was a long time coming. It's been a rough couple of weeks, guys. Um, but yeah, now that I've put that sort of extra band across the um, sort of center, of it, I don't want to say T-zone, it was sort of like cheeks and nose. It looks a lot better. Um, and it doesn't sort of look like there's extra coverage there or anything. It doesn't look like I've gone in with the second layer, which is nice. So I don't know if sort of, if you like using sponges and then sort of do you want to add coverage where you want it, like extra coverage with your hands or with a brush, that, that is something you can evidently do with this base. But I mean, I'll just cut out the middleman, dump the sponge and just use my hands, to be honest. Anyway, I'm going to put the rest of my makeup on and we will see how it finally looks. Uh, so how are things looking? 
Uh, pretty good. You know, maybe I should have, ooh, maybe I should have gone for a bit of pore filler here and here. Um, and I, even on my nose where I've extracted now, instead of full holes, I've got caverns in my face. So, you know, best of both worlds or worst of both worlds, you pick. Anyway, um, but in regards to the foundation, it's sitting quite, but it's nice and even, you know. I think this has been my favourite final result solely because of the pore situation, I think. I mean, I think, I guess, with most foundations, if you've got, like, a particular ailment issue with something, if that's always going to at least stand out to you, I feel like, regardless of whether it's standing out to other people. Um, I mean, I can still see a bit of redness coming through my nose, but again, my nose is quite red at the moment. Um, but yeah, I'm going to see how this one lasts, and I will check in with you for the final check-in. So moving forward, I feel like I am going to use these two products. So I feel like this is actually a really good thing for me to do. Uh, if I were to specifically compare these two, uh, I would say this one is definitely more of a foundation than a tinted moisturiser. This, even though it sort of comes in this like squeezy tube, I mean, it doesn't describe itself as a tinted moisturiser. I feel like, like, you know, like typically it comes in a bottle like this, kind of evokes a different type of base. Uh, a comfort matte foundation is how it's described on the bottle um, and that is how it is. Basically what the moral of the story is, is Alice exfoliate your skin but yeah but also you know you want your, your foundation to look good no matter how sort of con congested your skin can get. Um, but yeah, this is definitely more of a foundation so if I want something you know it, it boasts 14 hour wear time so this is something that I'm definitely going to be wearing sort of when I don't, when I want something a little bit more hardy, a little bit more hardcore um, I will definitely see myself pulling this out uh, again as the weather gets warmer but in comparison to this one here this is the velvet matte skin tint by NARS uh, by the way I think I mentioned in the video uh, this color swan this is Terra Nuve Light Zero uh, this has definitely got more of that whipped moisturizing feel to it so it's definitely almost like a whipped cream is how this feels not like a squirt cream but you know what I mean um, it definitely has that sort of like uh, yeah whipped texture to it so it's a little bit more like light and airy on the skin. It's actually what I'm wearing today. Uh, and this, I feel like I will gravitate more towards easy breezy, simple days. And um, this does have an SPF in it, whereas this one doesn't. Um, so I guess more, this is more like nighttime, daytime, although I do wear SPF every day anyway. But uh, yeah, this has definitely got more of a whipped, more like lighter cover. No, it's not necessarily lighter coverage, but it's like a softer look on the skin. So I feel like this is what I lean more towards daytime, less fuss, and this one when I've got a little bit more time or sort of like an evening out type scenario. But yeah, I feel like this experiment was a success. I do have a few other foundations um, that are more heavy duty traditional foundations, specifically the Becca one in a brown bottle ender all nighter by urban decay so if you want to see me do another video like this where i try things on three days in a row and try and make it work uh please let me know i'd definitely be happy to do that because you know i don't want to waste product and i feel like first impressions are just that that type of video where it's like oh this one day i try this product that i've never used before and who knows how it's going to go right whereas yeah i feel like sort of trying testing it out several days in a row um definitely gives me a better more well-rounded opinion. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Uh, please subscribe if you're new. I would love to have you back. If there are any videos you'd like to see from me, please leave a comment down below. I literally, I love hearing from you. Uh, anyway, thanks so much and I shall see you soon. Bye.